by Alan Temple at CCP underscore sports COWDNBATH and Cove Rangers have both been hit with a Scottish FA charges following the mass brawl which marred their League 2 playoff, while bosses Gary Ballin and John Sharon have been served individual notices of complaint. Cowden assistant manager Ian Flaherty is also facing a ban for his part in the melee at the end of Saturday's 3-2 victory which that salvaged the Fifers' SPFL status. The ugly scenes followed a hefty challenge by Cove defender Harry Milne, who barreled through Brad Smith, scorer of what ultimately proved to be the winning goal, directly in front of the Blue Brazil dugout. prompted a furious reaction from the Cowdenbeth bench and a mass confrontation which involved almost every player on the pitch and both management teams. Bun, Laharty and Sharon were all sent to the stands at Central Park by referee Stephen Kirkland for their part in the altercation, while Cove Rangers, who saw Paul McMahon a sent-off prior to the scrap, ended the game with eight men as Scott Ross and Eric Watson subsequently saw red. Scottish FA compliance officer Tony McLennan reviewed the available footage from the match and issued several notices of complaint. Both clubs are accused of a breach of disciplinary rule 204, which relates to incidents where three or more players or staff confront the opposition. That carries a potential fine of between £250 and £5,000 depending its severity. Ballin, Lahardy and Sharon, meanwhile, face potential touchline bans of between 2 and 10 games after being charged under the terms of Disciplinary Rule 203, which states in no member of team staff shall commit misconduct at a match. The parties cited have until May 22 to respond, with the hearing date set for June 22. Sharon struggled to hide his contempt for the officiating after the match after seeing Cove's dream of becoming the first Highland League club to win promotion to League 2 through the playoff send but appears to avoided punishment for his comments. Speaking to the BBC on Saturday, he fumed, I really don't know where we get these officials from. I don't know if they don't like teams from the Highlands, I think Bucky had similar problems last year. The referee was completely biased towards Cowdenbeth. I'm going to say my words carefully here, we feel cheated by the system and by officialdom. It is extremely frustrating, 